Hi there, this is Vivs here. In this video, let's play with the typecasting concept that we learned in the previous video. For starters, I will make a variable that stores my age. Let's call it age here and let me just store the number. Now notice that we need to specify the type. I will make it an integer. Now let's say that your age is the same. For that, we can make say int your age and we can give it 26 or we can do something else. We can say your age is age. Now this doesn't work like maths. What it does is take the value from the right hand side which is age which is 26 and put it inside the variable on the left hand side which is your age. Now if you try printing both of them they will both say 26. Now the same way we can have long at both places. I could have long here and I could have long at the second place as well and I can give a large number. Now notice that when I put a number sufficiently large which is outside the range of an integer I get an error. It says integer number is too large. Now the way you fix that is to write an L here indicating that this is not an integer number. It is a long number because by default in Java, if you write a number that does not have a decimal point, it is considered to be a value of type integer. If you write a number with a decimal point, by default, it is considered to be a value of type double. So here we have indicated that this is a long. So let's analyze the first topic, which is implicit type conversion or implicit typecasting in Java. I have a variable int age is 26 and I have another variable long your age and I need to store 26 or age in this. I'll simply say equals to age and that is perfectly fine because this works from the right to the left. So on the right side we have age which contains 26 and that number can easily fit inside a data type long. So Java compiler has no issues with this. You can even try this with a float and a double which would look something like this where we have float number is something and we have double pi which tries to store the value contained inside the float number. In fact, let me go ahead and show you another weird combination. This time I will make a char and call it letter and assign the value of a to it and I'll go down and make an int number and I will say letter over here. Notice that this has absolutely no problems with the Java compiler and this is again because of the Unicode table. A simply means 65. So int number contains the value 65. A character is 2 bytes an integer is 4 bytes. So we are storing a smaller type or a smaller value which is letter inside a larger type which is number and Java compiler has no issues with that. Now let's try the reverse where I'm going to go and make a long number and I will have an integer that says value and inside the integer value I will try to store number over here. Immediately you get an error. It says incompatible types required integer found long. Now when you see this word required it means that on the right hand side the compiler was requiring or looking for an integer. Instead, it found a long. So how do we fix this? We take the number which is a long. We put a bracket in front of it, close the bracket and we convert that to an integer. Or should I just say cut it down to an integer because if this number is large enough, then we will lose some value which I will demonstrate. So at this point, int value contains the cut down version of number. Currently, if you print it out, you will see that number and value are the same which is seen right here in the output at the bottom. Now let's try to make the number bigger than what an integer can actually contain. So let's go to the top and add a couple of more digits here and notice we immediately get an error that says integer number is too large. Okay, we will put an L and indicate that this is a long number and now what happens when we run the app? Just click run, run hello world. And notice now that we have the proper value inside number but the integer is printing something else and this is because of the cut down 
process that happened while putting long inside an integer. So going the same way, I made a bigger type which is double here and I tried to put it inside a smaller type which is float here. In the second statement, when I say take the variable number, cut it down to a float and then store it inside value, let's see what happens when I try printing both. Notice that the double number has more precision or more digits after the decimal point whereas the float one does not. And this is what happens when you typecast. Now one weird way that you can typecast things is from an integer to a character in Java. So here I have an integer letter with the value 65. I'm going to try and store this value inside the character alphabet. To do that I'll simply say alphabet equals to letter and it works from the right to the left giving us an error initially saying that it requires a character but you have provided it an integer. So we will convert this letter or cut it down by con reducing it to a character. And at this point if we run this application we go to the run menu at the top click run and at the bottom notice that the letter value is 65 but the character shows A. So hopefully you guys have understood something about how type conversions work in Java. The rule is pretty simple. If you have a smaller type and you are trying to store that into a larger type, everything is good. But the reverse is where you need to perform cut down or conversion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.